students today we are going to revise the chapter pivot animator first through this chapter you are going to understand the following things first to understand the concept of frame by frame animation second to use different controls of pivot animator third to create a frame by frame animation using pivot animator let us see what is an animation animation is the process of displaying a series of still images slightly different from each other in a rapid sequence to create the impression of movement the pivot animator is a free software that helps you to create an animation by using a series of frames it allows you to create an animate stick figures as well as graphic images the st these stick figures contain red and orange color dot that are also known as handles you can rotate or move the stick figures by dragging these handles next this is the pivot animator window here you can see the different controls at the top you can see the frames three frames are there in frame all these these frames are called timeline to your left side you can see the frame controls below that you can see player controls then background add figure then figure control you can see in that you can see the different control different buttons at the center you can see one figure it is a stick figure so let us learn about these control buttons first timeline it shows all the frames that are used to create an animation here you can see in the picture it is a timeline a frame each frame refers to an individual image in a sequence of images that is displayed at a specific time in the animation a sequence of frames creates an animation next frame controls timeline in that first frame it shows the number of the frame that is being edited on the timeline second repeat the value entered in the repeat box decides the number of times a frame should be repeated while playing the animation a frame is repeated mainly to slow down an animation without the need of creating duplicate frames next delete selected frames it is used to delete selected frames uh, next copy selected frames it is used to copy selected frames third paste selected frames it is used to paste the copied frames to the desired location next background it allows us to add a background to the animation you may need to load the background first into the application using the file load background option from the menu bar next add figure how you can add the figure it adds a difficult figure to the animation if there is more than one figure type in the animation a figure type selector window appears that allows you to select the desired figure type here you can see the here you can see image that there are different figure you can see and you can select your own figure next moving stick figures here you can see the stick figure at to your left side you can see the figure onion skin then origin handle at the center uh, one dot is there that is origin handle here you can see the segment handle to your right side you can see moving stick figure in blue dot let us see a stick figure consists of segments lines or circles that are connected by pivoting joints moving stick figures steps while moving stick figure first to move the entire stick figure click the origin handle and drag it to the new position second click and drag the segment handles present at the end of each segment with a mouse to rotate it around its pivot next while editing in a fr in frame 
when you move the stick figure using any of its handles a shadow like semi transparent figure is seen on the screen this figure is known as onion skin the arrow keys are around are used to move the selected figure accurately by increments of 1 pixel at a time when the stick figure is deselected all its figure handles will appear in blue creating an animation you can create an animation by using the given figure controls to your right side you can see the figure control in that you can see different controls different buttons let us see one by one first one is delete it deletes the selected figure second edit it opens the selected figure for editing third flip it flips or mirrors the selected figure horizontally next copy button it copies the selected figure next paste it pastes the previously copied stick figure next color it changes the color of the selected figure next center figure in bracket o it moves the selected figure towards the center of the frame next to create an animation we need to make a series of frames where each frame slightly differs from the previous frame the starting screen of pivot animator shows a stick figure in the center of the default frame now steps for animating stick figure first move the figure using the handles or use different figure controls to edit the figure next click add frame option to add this frame to the timeline next repeat steps 1 and 2 till you create all frames required in the desired animation now playing an animation using player control here you can see the picture of player control so let us see the different controls first one is play plays the animation from the beginning or the selected frame second stop stops the animation from playing and returns to the selected frame third one is loop it plays the animation again and again continuously until the stop button is pressed next one is scroll bar it is used to set the playing speed of the animation here you can see the image of player control now next step to save an animation first click the file menu and select the save animation second type a file name in the file name text box third click the save option to save your file the file gets in the default file format in bracket dot piv next to save the image as an animated gif first you can select export animation from the file menu if you want to save the image as an animated gif for a web page or an avi video file second you can open the dot piv file in pivot animator using the file open animation for making changes to it dear student through this video i tried my level best to make you understand the pivot animator chapter i hope ki you must have understood the topic if you have any problem you can call me or you can put message on my whatsapp number thank you very much have a nice day